The shares are lower today, but to be fair, only 45 European companies are rising. It's a broad-based decline. Is that a reflection of your earnings, or is it more about the broader market? No, uh, I think uh, that it's more a question of broader market uh, because um, the, the results of Amundi for uh, the first uh, sem semester has been very good. Uh, net income uh, uh, was up 11% uh, uh, in advance with our objective of 5% per year and it was driven by revenues uh, which increased by uh, 9% and a strong cost control. And as a consequence, uh, the cost to income ratio, which is uh, one of the best in the world for Amundi, improved again by two points at uh, 50%. And concerning the activity we registered for uh, um, the first semester, uh, nearly 30 billion euros of net inflows, mm. but it was the results of uh, 33 in the first quarter, and uh, negative of 3 billion euros in Do seconds. we worry about the net fund outflows in this quarter? First net fund outflow okay. since 2015. But, but it was uh, linked to uh, something which is uh, very technical and uh, uh, linked to the seasonality. Mm. It was the outflows of monetary funds at the end of June, which come back in July. And if you accept this, uh, we had uh, uh, net inflows of 8 billion euros. So the euros. trend remains positive. Yes, and very we'll, positive. And will continue to be uh, so. And especially in the retail side, which where the margins are the highest. 40 billion is the target for the year. I mean, could yes. you raise that target? Uh, for the, we, are, we have been above last year with uh, 65 billion euros. We are above this year with 30 billion euros for the first half. But as we are prudent, we prefer at this stage not to review the target. At this stage, but with half a year to go.